Hello guys, Taylor's iTech here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the RAM in your late 2011 MacBook Pro model. So in this video I'm upgrading from 8GB of RAM to 16GB of RAM. Um, I actually need this because I use Photoshop and Final Cut Pro X a lot and I find that it eats up my RAM quite a bit. So I purchased this for around $91 off Amazon and I'm going to leave the link in the description to that. Obviously you're going to need a very small screwdriver as the screws are quite small. Then you're just going to go around and unscrew them all. Make sure you put them in a place where you'll be able to find them again as they are so tiny. It's very easy to lose them. So as demonstrated here I'm about to pick up the long screw and the long screw goes in the top three right screw holes. So the three that I'm pointing to and then the little screw which I'm showing now goes in all the other holes all around the MacBook Pro. So once all the screws are removed you're going to remove the back plate of the MacBook Pro and as you can see it's very dusty that's just the way it is that happens for everybody. And you're just going to clean it away. I didn't spend too much time cleaning mine away. I probably should have. But for you, just get a cloth or maybe a damp cloth and just get everything cleaned off. As you can see, this is the battery, that's the optical drive, and this is the hard drive. But what we're focusing on here is this, which is the RAM ports. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull out on the two tabs at the same time and remove the top portion of RAM, and then you're going to do the same um, until the bottom portion of RAM comes up. Now this one's a little bit trickier than the top portion, however you will get it done. Don't force it. It looks like I'm forcing it here, but I'm definitely not forcing it. I didn't want to break anything. So you just got to pull them apart very fast so that the bottom portion of RAM does come out. So as you can see, I've purchased the Patriot Mac series of RAM. I'm going to leave you a link in the description for Amazon. This brand of RAM works quite well and it was the one that I used for my 8GB upgrade from my original 4GB that came in the machine. Now what I do is I check the gold connector plates to see that they have anything not on them because the last time I installed some RAM there was just a tiny speck of glue and it uh, messed up the whole process but I'll tell you more about that later. So what you're going to do is line it up with the bottom port of the connection and you're going to slide it in, make sure it fits in snugly and then what you're going to do is you're going to push down evenly on both sides until you hear a satisfying click and that's when you know that it is in securely. Now you're going to repeat this process with the top portion of RAM. Just line it up with the gold connectors and slide it in until it's a snug fit. Then you're going to push down evenly on both sides again until you hear that satisfying click. And your RAM is installed. Now the way you're going to test to see if it's installed properly is you're obviously going to replace the back portion of the MacBook Pro. And then what you're going to do is you're going to screw in all the screws again. I tend to not do them so tightly because you want to check that the RAM is working first by turning on the computer. But yeah, so don't do them tightly. That way if you haven't installed it correctly, you can come back and you can unscrew the screws very easily again. So once all the screws are replaced, you're going to turn the Mac on. Now what happened to me when last time I installed it incorrectly, there was a series of beeps and the screen would not go past this Apple logo. But as you can see, my Mac was fine this time. I installed it correctly and I'm just going to show you the about section where it says that there are indeed 16 gigabytes of RAM in my computer. If I helped you out at all with this video, don't forget to leave me a like as it does help me out a lot. Tell me what you're upgrading and how you've upgraded it and maybe subscribe. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.